Welcome back. You're watching TVC and it's time to talk about something that all of us are discussing. Why is February seeming so terribly hot, especially during the afternoon hours? It has become unusually warm with temperatures rising during the day. Temperatures maximum are above 2 to 5 degrees above the normal in many states. And in fact, to the degree that the headlines say that Bangalore is actually warmer than Delhi. Can you imagine that? What is this phenomena? What is the cause? Shrishti Chaudhary breaks it down for you. Well, this is February when the days are supposed to be sunny, but the weather is overall mild. However, this time what we are witnessing is unusual spike in uh, temperatures during the day. Now, the maximum temperatures are almost touching about 28 to 30 degrees Celsius in various parts of Northwest India, including the national capital where it touched about 28 degrees Celsius on a Tuesday. Now, uh, this is exactly what the weather department had predicted in its seasonal outlook for the winter season uh, this year. They said that the overall all uh, maximum temperatures are going to be above normal both during uh, the day as well as well as the minimum temperatures are also expected to be above normal now we saw how the winter season was also very short and mild it did not last very long and by i think 20th of january we had started witnessing a spike in temperatures but february this is supposed to be the, the spring season when spring is at its glory and uh, people really step out during the day but what we are witnessing is a very scorching uh, uh, the scorching days when the sun is beating down relentlessly although uh, there is some slight relief during the night because the temperatures during the night are still around 6 to 12 degrees Celsius now there are places like for example Adampur and Punjab which recorded the max uh, recorded the lowest temperature of the night at about 6 degrees Celsius but yes, the day temperatures are hovering around 28 to even 29 to even 30 degrees Celsius. The worrying part is that certain regions in uh, Maharashtra, like for Vidarbha, which is also a very dry region, has recorded the highest ma maximum temperature from 37 degrees Celsius. And the temperatures are high repeatedly on several days. Now, definitely, the, these are what we are, uh, you know, what we usually experience in a post-warming world. The global warming has affected uh, the uh, the regional weather. Also, we are uh, witnessing abnormal rise in temperatures uh, in during every season. But uh, the most profound impacts are mostly seen in the winter season because that has really reduced uh, in India. Now, uh, according to the weather department, there will be a further spike in uh, temperatures by about one to two degrees Celsius over the next few days. There are two western disturbances which are going to impact northwest India. Yes, of course, Jammu and Kashmir is going to witness another spell of uh, fresh uh, snowfall, which will really, uh, which is what the tourists are also looking forward to in the entire region. But overall, the temperatures are going to be high. In fact, uh, uh, the maximum temperatures in places like Jammu and Kashmir and also parts of Himachal, Uttarakhand are at least two to five degrees Celsius above normal. Now that is really high for this time of the year. Overall, uh, uh, this also raises worries that this is just February and March, April, May, which is when the heat gets really intense. So if the temperatures have really spiked uh, in February, then it, it presents a very a worrying scenario for the summer months, which are anyways very hard uh, over India. Now, this also comes as uh, 2024 ended as the warmest year on record. Uh, and January also broke uh, the warming records in India. And there were several places where the temperatures were really high. So that's all for now. Uh, Delhi has been really waiting for some uh, good amount of rain, but that hasn't happened over the last few days. And it's expected that uh, the, the two western disturbances which are going to impact North West India may also not be very vigorous over Delhi. And so there's still a very long time for Delhi to really have that spell of rain. Hmm. And related to this matter, perhaps what's unfolding in Kashmir? Well, this winter, Kashmir has also experienced a significant deficiency in snowfall, which has raised concerns across various sectors due to its broad implications. The impact of global warming, climate change are visible on the ground, as natural springs have also dried up, leaving several villages without water which is usually unheard of in the winter season at least. Uh, Ishan Vani gets you this report from the ground.
This is Mughal Garden of Fachabal town in Anantnag district of Kashmir. The garden built in 1620 by Emperor Jahangir's wife Noor Jahan is noted for its spring which has now run dry. This is completely unprecedented. The garden, usually known for its timeless beauty, with an abundant flow of spring water, acted as a lifeline for more than a dozen villages. Now there is fear that a disaster might be looming. एक तो बारिश भी नहीं हुआ एक साल हो गया दूसरा बर्फ अगर थोड़ा हल्का गिर गया वो भी सूखा गिर गया बर्फ का नाम ही नहीं है वो बर्फ गिर गया लेकिन वो कुछ नहीं है वो सूखा बर्फ घास जैसा था वो कुछ नहीं है ये बाईस गाँव को पानी मिलता था इस चश्मा का जब ये चश्मा ही सूख गया तो लोग तो परेशान है पूरा लोकल्स आर नाउ फ्रीकेंटली गैदरिंग एट लोकेशन ट्रेन सीकिंग डिवाइन इंटरवेंशन टू एन द ड्राई स्पेल The lack of snowfall has led to reduced water levels in the rivers like the Jhelum affecting water availability for both irrigation and domestic use. This could have a large impact on the economy of the state and its hydropower generation capability. Isse pehli mein maine borana 70 saal ke baad mein karta hu. Tab se ab tak usko aisa hi masla nahi hua hai, sukha nahi hua. Sukha nahi hua. Ha, lagbhag 5 da shesh mein sukhe ho gaye. समझिए सठ गाँव या सौ गाँव हैं इनको पीने के लिए पानी नहीं है तो जमीन को क्या करेंगे बागत को क्या करेंगे शायरी नहीं बनेंगे यहाँ सब्जी नहीं बनेंगे असली लोगों को ये करना है कि जमा होना है यहाँ रब को रुजू करना है कश्मीर हसीन अड्रामेटिक एटी परसेंट डेफिशिट इन रेनफॉल एंड स्नोफॉल दिस ईयर दिस हेज बिन कपल विद अब नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर्स particularly during its coldest month the dry weather has also triggered around dozen forest fires behind me you will see uh, in shrinagar this wild grass has caught fire and uh, these are the images that are devastating because uh, wildfires have been reported uh, not only uh, within the city but on the outskirts as well where mountains and forest area is losing its cover because it's already dry there has been almost uh, no rainfall and because of the dry grass is easily catching fire and taking with itself a lot of natural resources consequently the government has postponed khelo india winter games due to the lack of snow the reduced snowfall also means less snow cover to insulate glaciers leading to rapid glacier meltings uh, till now um, the deficit remains uh, as of date it is 80% you know, for entire jammu and kashmir rising temperature during uh, january from mid january uh, it is almost 5 6 degree 7 degree above normal uh, day temperature so this temperature also is a matter of concern for us because um, whatever snow we had received were gulmarg or uh, other parts other hilly areas of the um, jammu and kashmir it has been almost uh, reduced to half or uh, so and it has been unheard of that during the winter time there would be a water crisis in jammu and kashmir but it's becoming a reality now how the government now deals with the situation would be interesting to see whether there's any action that they are able to take to ensure that there's a reduction of the carbon footprint and because there have been constant changes that has been recorded in kashmir's glaciers and also the sort of climate that we are witnessing and even the winter time where there is a deficiency of snow which has forced authorities to defer khelo india winter sport in gulmarg this is all leading to an immediate climate crisis with bashil on in anantnag shanwani for cnn news 18